One thing that I wish to show you in order to help you get your drawings consistent between each other is a tool called Shift and Trace. Shift and Trace allows you to go ahead and use a drawing previously made and use it to overlay another drawing so that way you can trace over it to get the details or the form right on model. To use Shift and Trace is very easy. You go ahead and right click the drawing that you want to send to the desk and then you go ahead and pick send to desk. And what this does, it takes the drawing that you want and send it to the drawing view and then you can see it here in a new panel called the desk. And then you select another drawing that you want to fix and you right click and you say add to desk. And this will add it underneath the drawing that you first sent. So how Shift and Trace works is that you can take a drawing and use it to backtrace over another drawing to fix it. So let's say the torso here, the body is not really on model. It doesn't look good. I can go ahead and use another drawing, um, basically one that does look good, put it over it by moving and shifting the actual pegs in this drawing. And then I can go ahead and trace on top of it, basically fixing the body. And then everything will go back to its original position, letting me allow to fix the body uh, using the other drawing as a reference. So it's a common technique in paper animation where you use drawings to fix other drawings in your paper stack. This is what we like to show you in Toon Boom is that you can still use your traditional techniques, but in a paperless fashion where you're you know, using the computer to do the shift and trace. That you're using the computer to go ahead and do something called traceback, which is tracing back a drawing to get another drawing uh, made. So after I fixed it and now it looks much better, I will continue my work and then I will just keep looking at the motion and the body position. Um, one thing I will do is actually squash and stretch the character using my warp tool, which is a very quick way to get the subtle motion of stretching out. It's really nice that I have this tool because I don't need to go ahead and redraw this frame. I can just go ahead and stretch the character out very easily getting the stretching motion uh, using the warp tool. So, and this is the same technique that they use in Klaus. Um, why they choose Toon Boom Harmony is that they can quickly get this uh, squash and stretch these, these subtle animations done in a 2D animation process quite easily in fact. So I will continue to do the work, of course, um, squashing and stretching the character, checking the body motion, making sure that the frame-by-frame -frame animation is fluid enough to, uh, to approve. 
So basically I will check the character, making sure that the squash and stretch is working, making sure that the frame by frame of the character is also working, making sure that the in-betweens are matching, making sure that the in-betweens are matching uh, the keyframes. Because I'm using basic body shapes, it's going to look good enough to be approved by my supervisor. If they like what they see, then I'll go ahead and animate the facial details, the body details, and get those roughed in so that way I can see where I'm going to place my lines. And with that final line placement, I'll be able to do some uh, manipulation to make it even more smoother. And then I can make it more smoother, maybe add some more in-betweens to make it a little bit more smoother. And then go ahead and do a line test. So thank you for watching my video. I will look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. And don't forget to watch my previous videos if you haven't seen how I set up Harmony for paperless animation. Those are very good to see my settings and how I set up my brushes. So that way I can quickly flow doing my paperless animation. So you can see how I use Toon Boom Harmony very fast without going back and forth using my tool menu so that way I can be faster doing my drawings. Thank you everyone and look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.